Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that. I hate bugs. I get that insects are necessary to keep up with this whole circle of life thing, but there is one bug I especially hate. Mosquitoes. Please, can we just kill them all off? They're literally little flying spawns of Satan, and for some reason, they love me. It could be November in New York City, and every single mosquito has frozen to death already in the city, and some mosquito from LA or wherever it's warm would fly across the country and risk freezing to death just so he can bite me. But as much as I hate mosquitoes, I have to admit that there are worse insects in the world. So here are some of the most terrifying ones that I hope you nor I never encounter. Number one, Africanized honeybee. I hate it when humans decide to mess with nature. Basically, a scientist created these bees by crossing a honeybee and an African bee in order to idealistically create a bee that could survive in the jungle in order to maximize honey production. Yeah, so his purpose was fulfilled, but he also created a Tracer Jack sort of monster. They were first introduced in Brazil in the 1950s and have since spread across Central and South America and have even made their way to North America. The Africanized honeybees have a fiercely aggressive nature when it comes to protecting their hive. Even if they feel the slightest bit threatened by humans or animals, they will attack, often resulting in serious injury or death. And these bees are easily irritable. So so even a bit of noise or vibrations from a car engine can get these bees all riled up. Although their stingers are not more venomous than other bees, they tend to sting in large groups, often stinging their victims dozens or even hundreds of times, and they are persistent. Think jumping into water will help? Nope, they're just gonna wait at the surface until you run out of air. Try running away? Well, they're gonna follow you for up to half a mile. Did I mention that they are also affectionately known as killer bees? Pretty fitting as they've killed around one 1,000 humans. Number two, bot flies. Bot flies are parasites whose larvae grow in the flesh of their hosts. And the particular species we're talking about is the kind that targets humans. The human bot fly is found mainly in Central and South America. How they infect humans is related to those flying spawns of Satan I talked about in the beginning of the video. It all begins when a female bot fly injects her eggs into a blood feeding mosquito. Then, when the mosquito goes for its next meal in a human, the bot fly fly eggs are then transferred under the skin of the human using its hooked mouth part. As they mature into larva, a bump usually appears with a lesion on it in the skin. Sometimes people have even reported feeling that bump move. Now, some of you are probably wondering, how do I remove such a monstrous parasite? And it can be pretty simple, pop it like a pimple. But other times, when it's in there really deep, surgery is needed. Number three, jewel wasp. Let's continue with the trend of horrifying insects that are perfectly fine with using other organisms as a host for their reproduction. The jewel wasp is located in the more tropical regions of South Asia, Africa, and the Pacific Islands. It was originally introduced into Hawaii as a form of biocontrol for other species, but that proved to be unsuccessful due to the small scales on which they hunt. Anyway, Jewel wasps have a particularly gruesome way of going about their business. Female wasps utilize roaches as hosts by stinging them with venom that paralyzes the mobility of their front legs. Then, a second sting is delivered to the head to completely reduce their mobility so they can't move. This is when the jewel wasp really kicks it up a notch. The totally immobilized roach is then brought into the wasp's burrow, where wasp eggs are laid into its abdomen. When the eggs hatch, they literally eat their way into the roach's abdomen and remain there as endoparasites. While the wasps mature, they also consume the roach's internal organs. Finally, they form a cocoon inside the roach and, at adulthood, break out in order to start the cycle all over again. Number four, Goliath bird eater spider. So, spiders. Don't love them. I mean, I get that some spiders are non-poisonous and they are super helpful to the ecosystem, but if they ever set foot in my house, they're gonna feel the wrath of a giant rolled up newspaper. But imagine them with a leg span of up to 11 inches. Meet the Goliath bird eater spider, also known as the largest spider in the world. Yeah, 
They don't make newspapers big enough for this thing. These spiders live in South America, usually located in the rainforests. They are part of the tarantula family. For that reason, they share a special defense mechanism known as urticating hairs. These incredibly harmful hairs are ejected from the spider's body toward the perceived threat. However, there is one somewhat positive aspect of this spider. Despite being called bird eater spider, they don't actually eat birds. Probably because the birds were too scared and would never land near the sting. But they do eat frogs rodents, lizards, and even snakes. Number five, another spider, camel spider. This five to six inch long spider is the stuff of nightmares. I mean, just look at these things. They came to prominent attention when American soldiers stationed overseas in the Middle East would find these creepy crawlers hiding in their boots for shade from the sun. So imagine if you found that thing in your shoe. This spider usually lives in climates like the Middle East, warm and dry. Therefore, the camel spider really likes deserts. There are a bunch of urban legends swirling around about the spider ranging from its speed, its venom, to its size. Most of these are just myths, but this spider does have a powerful jaw which can be up to one third of their body length. They use this powerful jaw to turn victims like lizards, rodents, and even birds into pulp before sucking it into their stomachs. Number six, bullet ants. Okay, these things are terrifying. Bullet ants are found in Central and South America. They live up to their namesake by inflicting a sting so powerful, it feels as if you've been shot. Some people have even described the sensation as, quote, pure, intense, brilliant pain, like fire walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch rusty nail in your heel. The agony supposedly lasts for around 24 hours, which might not seem like a long time, but let me ask you, how long can you stand on hot charcoal with a rusty nail in your foot? An interesting and slightly disturbing fact is there is a tribe of people in Brazil that uses the ants in an initiation ritual for boys to become warriors. A glove is made of leaves that is filled with these ants and the boys have to put them on their hands for around 10 minutes. And that's not all. This must be done 20 times. If I was in that tribe, I'd be like, um, you know what? I'm pretty okay with uh, not being a warrior. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really suit me. I think I'm just gonna stay a boy. I mean, nothing to do with the whole sticking a nail in my foot. I'm just gonna ride this boy thing out for a while. Number seven, giant silkworm moth caterpillar. There is a giant silkworm moth found in South America, but its more potent dangerous form is back when it was a caterpillar. Before reaching maturity, the giant silkworm moth caterpillar needs to defend itself. And how does it do that? Well, with his infamous toxins that cause causes disseminated intravascular coagulation. In English, that basically means once the caterpillar's hair injects its toxins into you, the poison will cause a bunch of blood clots in your veins that are potentially lethal. Finally, number eight, Japanese giant hornet. Okay, let's be honest. Bees are scary, wasps are terrifying, but a hornet with flesh-melting venom? That's pee-inducing. These hornets are a subspecies of the largest hornets in the world, the Asian giant hornet. These insects have a wingspan of over two inches long. This is not something that I would want flying anywhere near my face. The Japanese giant hornets are found, well, in the Japanese islands. They prey on other insects and bees and are extremely aggressive when threatened. The main horrifying aspect of these hornets is their sting. Their venom attacks the nervous system and the tissue and is described as excruciatingly painful. Basically, it's up there with the bullet ants. And every year, 30 to 40 people in Japan die after being stunned by these hornets. But get this, even though I would never want to get even remotely close to one of these things, Japanese people are known to eat them as a delicacy. You know, that's so Asian. We eat anything. Uh, that thing is super poisonous. If it stings you, you're gonna die. I wonder what it tastes like. Wait, is that racist? I mean, I can say that, right? Because I'm Asian. I think the takeaway from this video is uh, maybe bring a lot of bug spray wherever you go, and we really should try to destroy all mosquitoes. You know, this could bring the whole world together, like in Independence Day when the aliens attacked, but in this case, we all band together to kill mosquitoes and we can film commercials like they did in Starship Troopers where, you know, kids are stumping on bugs. But guys, let me know how you feel about mosquitoes and about my plan for us to just take on mosquitoes together and kind of unite the planet. Also, let me know which insects you fear the most. They don't have to be the ones on this list, but in general, which insects are you afraid of? All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you later.